Hello, folks. Well, recently I had the privilege of being up, able to update my Nix configuration. Um, and I updated it in, in two ways simultaneously, which is usually a bad idea. Uh, but I updated it so that it would use Flakes and also so that I upgraded to uh, NixOS 2305 from 2211. So uh, the up upgrade went well. It, it, was, it was pretty painless. I had to make a few changes to the configuration, but uh, other than that, it was, it was pretty easy. But um, what came along for the ride when I upgraded to 2305 was uh, it, up, it, it upgraded uh, programming is called Olive Editor. And Olive Editor is a non-linear vi video editor that is what I used to make these videos with. And it upgraded it to 0 0.2. Now, 0 0.2 is actually unreleased. It's coming soon. <laughs> There's no actual release of 0 0.2. And it's very much a work in progress. So um, I happen to know this because I'm, I'm a patron of, of this project and I, I like it a lot. But I, I don't think it's ready for prime time. I mean, at least that's what the its author says. So uh, what I wanted to do was uh, downgrade to 0 0.1.2. So right now, if I'm, I'm running 23.05 right now. So right now, if I, if I try to launch Olive Editor, it's going to come up, and it's going to come up with 0 0.2. See, 0 0.2.0, right? So uh, I'm going to try to downgrade it here. And I think uh, because I upgraded to Flakes, or updated to Flakes, as a, you know, my, my, my prior configuration wasn't using Flakes. I was just using configuration on Nix. Uh, there are a lot of guides about how to sort of use mix, mix and match different versions of packages from different Nix packages releases but with flakes it's a it's a little little drier you gotta you gotta sort of search around so i figured i'd make a video about it so uh my flake.nix looks something like this now I'll, I'll actually go to the real one in a second but in order for me to make use of older packages i, I happen to know that the olive editor that's in uh, 2211, 0.1.2 works fine. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to make available the Nix packages packages that are in 2211 and use it in my configuration. Um, so in, in order to do that, I had to change things around just a little bit. Uh, so my initial one was, you know, I have four inputs here. Um, Sorry, I have th I have three inputs in in the initial one. In the next one, I have I have uh, four inputs, and one of those is uh, an input that points at Nix packages from NixOS twenty two eleven. Now, this is uh, probably a little less stable than you know. I, I could probably point it at a hash instead, but but this works and and, and it works fine. So. Uh, and I only need it for this thing. I don't think anybody's going to go updating 0 0.1.2 anytime soon. Doesn't really matter in Nix, you know, in, in 22.11 for me. Anyway, so uh, in order to make use of that input, I ha actually had to change my outputs to have this in there. This Nix packages R22.11 in the in the argument list uh, of the outputs function, and then I had to set up an overlay. And this is actually in the in the flake in the Nixos wiki under flakes uh about how to do it but it's it's not you know it's very you know terse about what it does uh what this thing does is it uh this this overlay r2211 here is a overlay function that attaches um this r2211 to Nix packages such that later on you can refer to the old packages like this down here. So in your in your configuration, in your normal configuration, I flakes config, but the thing where you actually add packages, you could say packages.r2211 
download editor and that'll go get the older older revision you got it that's 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 all it does it it, it, it took me quite a bit to to understand what's happening here um in any case you know in in addition to adding this argument to the inputs list or to the outputs argument list uh we define the overlay itself here and then just because we repeat it all the time i had to sort of um what am i doing where, where did i go there i'm sorry uh we define uh, the system as linux in this let thing and then we we inherit it later so here uh, it used to say something like you know system equals x86 x86 for linux now it just says inherit system because we use it in a, uh, in a number of places but the the thing that actually you know sort of makes it all go is this inscrutable line here which uh attaches that r2211 attribute to the packages that we have that that's what actually makes this this work so with the addition of those three things with the with the new input that thing there ugh, this keyboard's terrible uh with the addition of it into the arguments list with the overlay that we find up here and with the activation of the overlay down here we are now able to do that so now if i go to my configuration here make this a little bigger um let's see here i gotta get check out 2305 this is my own configuration here uh 2305 and let's see do i have okay so it used to look something like this like that in my old configuration but now that i have this r2211 thing in here you know this is an alternate spelling of packages dot, you know, R2211 dot, dot, uh, olive editor. Uh, now that I have that, I can, I can reference that R22. So that tells me to install the olive editor from, from release 2211. And if I run it, let's run it. Oh, let me just do NixOS rebuild switch for both. All right, that works. So let's see if now, if Olive Editor is at the new, the old revision. It is. Look at that. Look at the help. Olive April yeah, doesn't say zero dot one dot two, but that's the only that's the only other release of this. So, yeah, this is the right result. So, in any case, it's a bit inscrutable, but there's a bit of magic in there. Just, just cut and paste it, man. What can I tell you? I don't know. It's like, uh, you know, carbon cult config. Just do it. All right. Thanks for watching.